push notifications are a tried and tested way to engage your audience by drawing valuable readers to your site when you have important news stories to share. They pop up sharing a headline and clickable link that takes a reader to your site. But how do you encourage readers to enable push notifications and what impact do they have on website traffic? I am Lola Tawari from the Google News Initiative. In this short video, we'll detail how push notifications can help increase engagement and grow your readership. Publishers often ask, how can we increase the number of people reading our stories? Here are a couple stats that might encourage you to try using push notifications as a part of your own strategy to increase readership. Up to 15% of readers enable push notifications on their devices. And push notifications can lead to a 25% click-through rate. So if your news organization is not currently sending push notifications, or you think you can improve your notification strategy, you may be missing out on a valuable source of traffic from your most engaged readers. One note, in this video, we talk mainly about web push notifications. If you have an app, you can also send notifications to people who have downloaded the app. But even if you don't have an app, like most small news organizations, you can still send a notification directly to your reader's browser. Okay, first things first. How can you know if your push notifications are working? To analyze the performance of your push notifications, we recommend using a free of cost tool that Google has built specifically for the news industry. It's called News Consumer Insights, or NCI. You can access it by clicking the link in this video. News Consumer Insights translates data from your Google Analytics account into charts and tables with personalized recommendations, whether you have the free of cost or paid version of Google Analytics. Here's how it works. Start by connecting your website to NCI by clicking the Authorize your account to view your data button at the top of the page and logging in using your Google Analytics account. Let's look at one feature on NCI, which helps you get started with gathering data on push notifications. If you click Reader Engagement and scroll down, you will see a chart with a bunch of blue bubbles. For example, if you hover over the blue bubble that says Notifications, you'll see how much push notifications contribute to your site's traffic. If you click the orange View Recommendation button on the left, the tool will tell you your top recommendations to improve reader engagement, where you can see if push notifications are an area that your organization should focus on. A word of warning, if less than 1% of your traffic comes from push notifications, the blue bubble from push notifications will not pop up at all. If that's the case, we recommend setting them up. How can you add the feature to your site? There are two ways you can set up push notifications at your organization. You can either build your own infrastructure or work with a third party to set them up. Either option has advantages and disadvantages. Creating your own infrastructure will allow you to control the channel fully, but it will require some technical resources. Third parties can be a good solution, but they come with a cost. And should you transition away from your vendor, it can cause some subscriber loss. Two vendors that news organizations use in North America are Pushly and OneSignal, but we encourage you to evaluate vendors to pick the right option for you. Now we've covered some ways to set up push notifications, but how can you maximize the chances of your readers subscribing to them? Here are some best practices that we found news outlets use with great success. One, keep in mind where and when a sign up prompt is triggered. A positive user experience is key to maintaining an effective opt in flow. It's worth considering the number of articles users read, time on your site, and scroll depth as possible triggers for a sign up prompt. Two, consider when to use native prompts versus custom ones. Native prompts lead to more opt ins because of their simple sign up process. For example, Google would like to show you notifications. Do you want to block or allow? But custom prompts, where the message has been tailored to your user, have a higher retention rate because they have a clear value proposition. An example could be a weather alert specific to the place that your reader lives. It's all about finding the right balance. And three, 
Consider the look and feel of your sign-up prompts. Remember to highlight why your readers should subscribe to push notifications. Think about customizing your messaging based on their reading and maximizing visibility without interfering with content consumption on your site. Whichever route you choose, push notifications can be a valuable tool to build your audience. All of these recommendations and more can be visualized on our demo site, which was developed from insights from thousands of news publishers globally. If you'd like to learn more ways to deepen your news organization's relationship with your readers, we suggest checking out the other videos in this series. The Google News Initiative also provides in-depth coaching for groups of news organizations through our labs. You can learn more and apply on our website, g.co slash news initiative, or contact us at contact gni at google.com with any other feedback and questions. Thank you.